What's up everybody, it's your boy Ash, here to talk to you about Marvel's What If, Episode 7. So what's this story about? Alright, well in this one, Odin never adopts Loki. Loki stays in Jotunheim and grows up a frost giant, and Thor grows up an only child. Because of this, Thor doesn't have a mischievous brother, so instead he grows up to be the mischievous and party-going crazy one. Thor decides he wants to go to Earth and throw a real banger of a party, a rager. So he beams down to Vegas, the party central, and he just works his way around the earth. He just goes nuts with it. Just throws a real banger, a rager of a party. This episode has a lot of cameos in this one. We get a lot of characters. We get the guy with the two mohawks with the machine guns, Carl Urban's character from Thor Ragnarok. We get him. We get Nebula. We got Drax. We got Captain Marvel. We got Frost Giant Loki. We got the El Diablo demon guy from Thor Ragnarok with the horns. We got a plethora of characters, Jane, Darcy, just a ton of characters in this one. So that was cool to see. But for the most part, the story in this one is really stale. It's super monotonous. The party thing gets kind of stale and boring after a while. I should have known that this episode wasn't going to be the best one. You see Thor without a beard. But the second I saw him without a beard, I knew I wasn't going to feel this one as much. Something's missing, just like Thor's beard. Something is missing from this episode, and it might be the action, it might be the comedy, because the comedy in this one was also really stale, it, it didn't really land. For the most part, everything is really monotonous, you get worn out, just like a long rager of a party, same thing happened with this one, you get kind of worn out by it, and just kind of, you just kind of want it to end. I can't say this is a creme de la creme, but I'll give it a creme, it just kind of, it just kind of is, it just kind of, it's okay. The best part of this episode was the last scene. Oh my god, we get a cameo at the end that I wish we could have had an entire episode about this. This would have been the, the episode to, to watch, guys. This would have been the episode to have. But these are self-containing episodes. So there's not going to be an episode about what we just see at the end, which is pretty disappointing. I, at least I don't think that we will, because all the previous episodes have been self-containing. What happens at the end just stays the end, stays in that story, and the next episode we get something completely different. Which totally sucks because the ending of this episode would have been the story to watch. It seems just an incredible story. I want the backstory of how it happened and what's happening, and I would have been really excited to get that story. Unfortunately, we just get a long party, a long rager that doesn't really land on its mark. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode, guys. I'm really curious to know what you guys thought. Did you guys love it? Did you think it was a creme de la creme episode? Or did you just think it was just kind of creme, like me? It's just okay. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and throw any questions you have in the comment section as well. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Alright guys, I hope you had a good time. You know I did. I'll check you on the next According to Ash.